Yes, of course. Axolot. That ship, Axolot. It's all the same thing. Don't you see we're dealing with one single living creature? Axolot was just the dormant state until I, until I activated it. Can't you stop it? No, it's too late. Did you see part of this stuff could endanger the entire world? Don't you look out! <laughs> I want an urgent cable to Geneva HQ. Now, message reads, Chin making illegal unilateral deal. Request confirmation. What do you mean a similar message has already been sent? It can't have been. Well, there must have been a security leak. Look, just tell me exactly what happened. Just a moment. You can put that away, Captain. I don't think you'll be needing it. So you're still under arrest? I doubt it. I think you better get in contact with your HQ. What's that? Where's Witz? Your scientist has been killed. Killed? His body was destroyed by an intense blast of radiation. Radiation? What happened? Our instruments showed attempts were being made to interfere with the structure of Axonite. We came to help, but we were too late. We? My crew have removed the unstable material. The radiation has already been neutralized. Did you authorize these experiments, Sir George? No, I did not. Windsor went his own way. Poor devil. Did you mean to tell the me? The blame is for you to decide. This kind of thing must never happen again, never. Otherwise, we shall cancel the agreement. <laughs> We're back inside Axos. These claws or whatever you call them are a living part of Axos. Axons. Axos. Axonite. Wow. What a classic. Yes, the claws of Axos. Oh. So many amazing memories about this one. Oh, I just don't know where to start. I mean, the creatures are so effective, aren't they? So organic and golden. Wonderful. Oh, yes, and dear Nick Courtney there is the brigadier. Really, uh, showing his authority, and wasn't that corporal who pulled a gun on him gorgeous? Oh, God. No, I mean, I really, really enjoyed that. I think that chap who played the, the parliamentarian, Chin, I can't remember the actor's name, but I think he may have appeared in The Power of the Daleks. Pat Troughton's first story as um, Hensel, the governor. Yes, he, he plays those sort of um, authoritarian government types incredibly well, doesn't he? I wonder whether he um, he got typecast in a, a few of them. And Katie Manning there just, you know, showing her um, her complete terror and fear there with those Nasty claws crawling all around her. Very nasty. Yeah, you can see why um, she is remembered as being such a great companion. So much drama and, uh, I don't know, energy in her performance, isn't there? Yeah, she really settled into the, the role of Joe incredibly quickly. 
I do have a, a funny memory about this one. <laughs> I can't remember which episode it was, but there was um there was an old man riding a bicycle and he fell off the bicycle and landed in a pond. I just remember it being incredibly funny. I think he there was a there was a tune or theme as associated with him. Da 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 la 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 and he used to say war 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 Yes That's a real classic, isn't it? Yeah a real gem of a story. And of course, another story that featured the master as the main villain, uh, dear Roger Delgado, who would go on to appear in uh, every story in this season. Yeah. Fantastic. The Claws of Axos.